Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. This one I'm going to show you how to make your footage trippy or like trancy or dr like you're on some sort of hard drugs. You know how in like Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas when the, the screen sort of bubbles in and bubbles out and stuff like that. You kind of want to have that weird trippy sequence. Um, this is really, really popular in dreams and things like that. I'm going to show you how to do it in After Effects with a variety of different... Um, uh, effects. The first one I'm going to show you is, well, let's just click on here. First off, uh, you just want to go into your After Effects, and I've just got some generic footage I downloaded off Pexels.com. It's free. You can, if you want to follow along, use any footage you want. It, it's not really a big deal. Uh, just throw anything in here. I've just got six seconds of this of this lady here just sort of, you know, saying, hey, look at these mountains. Cool. All right. Well, let's take a look at them. So we want to make that uh, trippy, trancy, druggy uh, effect. So what you want to do is you want to click on your um, your video here inside the sequence and you want to go to effect, drop it down and then obviously we're going to distort but there are a variety of ways you can make that sort of cool trippy uh, footage. So I'm going to show you the first one. It actually happens to be the top one too. It's called Bezier Warp. Now when you click on it nothing happens initially and that's okay. Um, but what you want to do here is you're going to see on the sides of this image on the sides of your footage, pardon me, you're going to see these little handles, and when you move them, it changes and it distorts the image. And this is really good because there's all of these different handles, there are all of these different points that you can manipulate, and they are all keyframeable. So we can go ahead and make changes to all of them and really go nuts. Bezier Warp is probably my favorite for this type of footage, so let's just go ahead and do it. So I'm at the I'm at the beginning of the frame here, and I'm just going to go ahead and left click and drop down on all of them. How cool is that? Yeah, exactly. So at the beginning, you know what? This is just regular footage. Nothing's happening. But let's say you're talking to your, your lady friend and, uh, well, I don't know, the drugs kick in or whatever the hell you got going on. It, they just kick in and, and you start to zone out or trip out or whatever. Here's how you do it. So we've keyframed the beginning. I'm going to hit U, which shows all of the keyframes just so you guys can see that they're all here. Um, I'll hit U again just because you don't want to see all that. But just so you know, it's all keyframed. And then we're going to start making changes. So at the first second, this is when things kick in. So here we go. I'm going to change that out there. And you're going to notice that I've got some handles here. So I'm going to go ahead and wobble her out here. Normally, you can wobble in like this, but not in this situation. Because you see on the side there, you're going to see that black section right here. You really don't want that. So what you could do... Um, is you can go ahead and render it easy. like I'm using 1920 by 1080 but if you use 1280 by 720 yeah you can go ahead and change it like uh, kind of wobble these in and I'll show you how to do that at the end of it just so you know what I'm talking about but here you go I'm gonna change this one out there and then this handle I mean I'm just you know I'm just going nuts here just to to show you the effect this is not something I'd put in a um, in a final version I'm gonna actually zoom out to 50% because you can go ahead and see a little bit better and I'm going to drop that one down here and that one's going to go there and right and then she's really wobbling out here and then at, you know at the two second mark you know this goes in and and this goes up and I don't I mean I'm just okay yeah her head just got really really big and now it's winding to the left and okay and there she goes right and then in a few more seconds later all right, let's go to like three seconds ish right here. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make this bigger. I mean, why not, right? We're going wonky. Let's go full wonky. This comes in here. You know, this goes down there. I mean, we're just. I mean, we're just winging it, right, guys? But I mean, you you see what I'm doing. And then now I'm gonna show you the final effect, and it's gonna look like really weird. It's gonna look kind of like you know what? <laughs> Somebody did some stuff they probably shouldn't have done. So here we go. If I just go ahead and Start at the beginning. I'm going to hit spacebar and it's going to load the previewer. Whoa. Fear and loathing in Las Vegas right there, guys. That is wobbly, wonky. That is exactly the effect that we're looking for. Now, I'm going to go ahead and delete this and I'm going to show you a second way that I sort of, uh, I sort of, I sort of talked about. Um, yeah, I actually did it during that. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this like you know, fit to comp. So right click, transform, fit to comp. So it's right there. Now what you could do if you want to go, you know, because we were doing the effects and when we pushed it in, you were seeing the black space earlier. 
what you can do is watch this. You take this shot here, and if you just sort of zoom it in a little bit, that gives you some play. So when I go back to effect, oops, I've got to click on it here. I go to effect. I'm going to go to distort, bezier, warp. And now if I pull the handle in, you can go all that way before you start seeing the black bar like that. So that sort of uh, synthetic zoom in like that sort of allows you to go both ways with the handles as opposed to just going left, which is fine. But anyways, guys, that's how you use Bezier Warp to get like a trippy, trancy scene. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. There are more coming. I'm going to show you how to use um, Bulge uh, Wave Warp. Warp isn't so good, but Wave Warp's pretty good. And I'm also going to show you how to use Liquify and May... Uh, Whatever that is. Liquify and, and magnify. Yeah, that, those are the ones, guys. Come on, Curtis. Use your words. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I'll be back soon with some more tutorials. Thanks for watching.